It's a privilege for me to be asked to speak this evening. Today I graduate from the Veterinarian Assistant Program. My love for animals has gone back a long way. I have always had animals as long as I can remember. So when I decided to go back to Community Care College for the Veterinarian Assistant Program, it was an easy choice. I chose Community Care College because the minute I walked through the doors, they cared about my success and what it would take to get me there. Coming here has changed my life. It's made me proud to say that I have a career and I get a chance to help animals. At 40 years old, I truly thought the light at the end of my tunnel had burned out. My thoughts about what I would do when I grew up were gone. Thinking I was too old to dream about what, would co what could become was long gone until a friend told me about Community Care College. For me, growing up wasn't easy. I tended to always pick the wrong path. The person that you see standing here before you was not the same person 10 months ago. I had no direction, no focus. I couldn't see what was in front of me. I was just waiting for my life to end. I had lost all hope. Everything I went through the first month of school, late night cramming, struggling to develop new study habits. I'm sure that we all went through a lot to get where we are right now. We have all come a long way, some further than others, but with the same dream, starting a new future. Today, I'm a changed person. I have ambition, goals, and I love to come back and be involved in the veterinary assistant program. I come back every chance I get. I'm confident that if I ever needed anything, that I could turn to anyone at Community Care College, and they wouldn't hesitate to help me. It is a miracle that I stand here before you today, hopeful, appreciative, and inspired by what I have learned and how I can help others. I would like to thank my best friend, Cheryl Schultz, for holding my hand and walking me through the doors, because without you, I would not have got there. Katie Hughes, I knew right then, at that point, I had found a place I was supposed to be. A few weeks later, I entered CLD class with Jill Deutscher. It was there that my transformation began. Jill's class, me, class taught me professionalism, computer skills, and she took time out of her busy schedule to help me learn OK Classroom so I could excel in my classes. I began to see myself in a way I never have. Charlie Marks, you became more than a teacher to me. You are my friend. I could always be the real me, and you were always believing in me, supporting me throughout my educational experience. You never let me give up on myself, and you continued to guide me in the right direction. You taught me leadership and how to help others, and you made me a mentor to my class. Charlie, you've been such an important part of my journey. It's hard to put into words what you truly mean to me. But I am so thankful I was guided by someone who would impact me for the rest of my life. Off to Extern 101 I went, and I met Amanda Sanderson the bubbly, outgoing, courageous individual who made me sweat because she made me wear makeup and a skirt to my interview. <laughs> the beginning externship was very scary for me. I didn't want to do it, but Amanda knew the right place to put everyone. She knew the right fit for everyone. I wish that we could take her with me to the interview, but she would never let me second guess myself. I was prepared for what was ahead. I felt very welcome when I got to the SPCA of Tulsa. They were so appreciative to get any help they could. They bragged about how positive I was the whole 180 hours of my extern. And that sometimes I wasn't, I wasn't prepared for what was ahead. I would like to thank my mother and my sisters who have stood by me while achieving my goals because I know you never thought I'd get here. Last but not least, Danny Green, Danny, I wouldn't be here without you, and I think you deserve the externship of the year as long as, as, as much as I do. You're the only thing that made me get through some days. And for the graduating class, I'd like to share this with you. I hope your dreams take you to the corners of your smiles, to the highest of your hopes, to the windows of your opportunities, and to the most special places your hearts have ever known. And last but not least, if you're listening to my words of wisdom, this is for my teacher. Don't please don't forget to spay new to your pets. <laughs>